guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I think this will be the last little um, process video that I have for the Naturalist Cinch Journal. So hopefully the next video you see will be um, the flip through of that. Um, yeah, so I am using a few kits here. Um, I have three kits from Tracy Fox, um, her random sciency labels her assemblage slides and tags and the exhibit uh, specimen ephemera kits. So I will link those below as well. Um, and I wanted to show you, I made some um, old brown tape <laughs> um, using alcohol ink and just regular, um, you know, like cellophane tape. I love it. And I rolled, I just rolled it around um, this little thing I had. So I have old tape whenever I need it. So I am gonna use it um, in a couple different places here. So, all right, let's start with the easy one. Um, so here is the finished one that I made. And this is, um, this is the assemblage kit. I love, I absolutely love this. You get so many pieces. Um, it's so fun <laughs> to play with. So um, basically, they come um, unfolded. So I've already cut holes in this one, but they come like this and then you fold them in half. So that's what I've done. Um, I have two here that I have uh, folded and glued and um, inked around, but here's my first finished one. And I, I just glossy accented the, um, the butterfly pieces. And I think they turned out really cute. And so then you have a blank space on the back where you could write or, you know, whatever. And they're just, they're nice and sturdy and I love them. So that's the finished one of that kind. So I've already um, glossy accented two more butterflies. And then I did uh, two of the like flower pieces. Those have the glossy accents too. I'm not sure if that's showing up. So basically all I need to do is glue these down now. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue here. And I'm just gonna try and, you know, kind of line them up, center them the best that I can here. There we go. I hope you're all doing well. It, uh, it is definitely uh, summer here, very hot and yucky outside, but sunny, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> I like the sun. Don't like the heat, but I like the sun. All right, so there's another one finished. Super easy. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this kit if you enjoy doing um, these kinds of journals, you know, nature journals and things like that, because they're just um, super cute. And you don't even have to add the glossy accents um, at all. Like, I mean, they're super cute, even if you don't do that. So if you don't have that, don't feel like you need to do that. Um, I just I have it and I thought it would, you know, that it would look nice as well. So, okay, there's those two. And then we'll do this one real quick. So, yeah. So I tried keeping Oscar home yesterday from daycare and actually working in the craft room. Um, it went okay uh, some of the day. Um, <laughs> he, oh, some, some, at some points he was great and he would just, you know, uh, like chill. And then other times he wanted to chew up all of my boxes and bins and stuff. But then towards the end of the day, um, he's so quiet about it and I should know better. It's like having toddlers when they're quiet, something's up. Um, <laughs> I had, you know, turned around for, I, I felt like my head was on a swivel all day cause I just was checking to make sure that he wasn't getting into anything. But, um, I thought he was sleeping and I, you know, was working and then I turned around and he chewed through my iron um, cord. Luckily it wasn't like plugged in and on. Um, 
I didn't realize that it was somewhere where he could get to it. So now I need a new iron, you know, whatever. Um, I've had that one probably since before I got married, so it's old. <laughs> All right, so there are those three. I think they are adorable, and those will go in the journal. All right, the next one, uh, this is still the same kit, and here's what I did. Now, okay, so I have no idea if it's a problem with me or a problem with my one-inch punch because it's cheap, um, but I couldn't get to the center of the tag. So it's not me just being... Um, I, I, I obviously realize it's not centered is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> um, but that was the best I could do. So I don't know. Let me know if maybe I just need a better um, circle punch. This one was super cheap, um, but I just, I couldn't get to the center, but I still love it. And what I did, I'm going to show you, but this is the one that I made ahead of time. I have, I bought these. I didn't dry these myself. Um, they are just little dried um, flowers. So I'm gonna take out two here. They are so fragile. Um, you know, you kinda, there's not really a way to use them except this kind of situation really um, because they are so fragile. And I did pick two that are different sizes and I'm okay with that. So what I did for this one, um, I just did two holes but again, um, they're not centered. So um, yeah, it's it's not an illusion. <laughs> they, they really aren't centered. All right, so I have some more. I've cut some strips of that old um, transparency film that I was talking about in the last video. Whenever I see this at the thrift store, I buy it. Um, I buy all of it because it is it comes in very handy. So I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue and um, let me see, just wanna glue this down so, um, but not too close to the, the holes because it'll smoosh out. And you also don't wanna um, push it too, you know, don't, don't like squish it too much. Just kinda lay it down there and let it, let it stick on its own. And then we'll put the other piece on as well. And I'm just using a very tiny amount of glue because I'm gonna glue the whole thing, you know, together. Anyway, um, it doesn't really need too much to hold it in place. There we go, okay. And then let's see, where's the front? This is the front. So I am gonna add just a little bit of glue right to the center of my flower and that will dry mostly clear. Um, so you really won't see it. But if you think about it, when you're mounting things in a slide, you usually have some sort of um, something that's you know holding everything in place, right? Um, I'm just thinking back to like biology class. Usually there was you know something you needed to hold everything in place. So then when we close that up, that is what it will look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue it, but then um, I will I will also sew it, um, but I'll just do that later. So you don't have to wait for me to do that. Just, Just enough glue to kind of hold it together until I can sew it. There we go. All right, super cute. And then, like I said, that glue will dry and it'll be it'll be more clear. You can't really tell um, that it's there on this one that's finished. So yeah, I will sew that up and it will, be adorable. I love it. I love it. All right. So that is those. That is those. Is that a proper? I don't even know if that's proper, but um, yeah, I said it. So <laughs> there we go. All right. And then this is, uh, these are from the um, 
the exhibit uh, kit that Tracy has. So these are the finished ones that I did. And you can see I used pieces of that old, uh, old looking tape um, on the front and the back here. And the same thing here to make it look like it's been um, taped on, but it's really not, it's really glued. So how I did that, now let's see. Uh, I did not, I did not ink this up ahead of time. Sorry about that guys, I'll do that real quick. Let's see, what can I talk about while we do that? Um, Oscar ate my iron cord. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to puppy proof the room better. Um, I don't know what his deal is, <laughs> why he um, feels the need to chew on everything. Um, Pixie does not do that, and Myla did not do that. Um, but Oscar, whew, yeah, he, I don't know, he gets, I don't know if he gets tired or bored. I try, you know, to keep him occupied. He has tons of things to actually chew on that are, you know, allowed, but um, he seems to want to misbehave. So, and he knows that he's not supposed to do it because when I correct him, he gives me that look um, like toddlers give when they've done something they're not supposed to, but they don't really care that you've, you know, corrected them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I've got this J stamp, very random, right? Um, but I just wanna put something on uh, this little label here. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. All right, and then I chose this piece um, for the actual, you know, like slide part. And hopefully I cut it out properly so that it'll cover um, the white part. Yeah, I think it'll be okay like that. So I'm just gonna glue that down. So anyway, um, Oscar is at daycare today because yesterday was the iron incident. Um, <laughs> so Pixie is here with me and she is being a very good girl. She is so sweet. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to share some pictures. Um, if I remember, I will, um, I'll try and share them in my uh, Facebook group. So if you're not already um, in that group, head on over because We'd love to have you. All right, so there's that. This is gonna go on the back. This is gonna go on the front and I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna glue it down first and then we'll add some of that tape. Hopefully I can find the end quickly. That's the only, the only downside of the way I did it here. Um, it's a bit difficult to find the end. I should give myself a little, my husband calls it a buddy tab. Maybe I'll remember to do that here. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh goodness. All right, I'll just leave. Oh good, that's perfect. We'll just use that. All right. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. It's probably a little bit too much. Let's do the back first. We'll put this piece down. And we'll just put it here. Kind of random. And I'm just gonna add some glue to the tape because obviously it's been alcohol inked and I've touched it a million times and it's no longer as sticky as it should be, right? So that'll just help help hold it in place. Like that. I think that looks so cool. I love that. All right, and let's do the other side. Um, we don't need we don't need very much at all. So on the roll and yeah I just used um, a couple different colors um, of alcohol ink that I used um, I think it was just like a brown and then 
oh, I can't remember now. It might have been um, like a nutmeg color. I don't know. I have some weird alcohol inks from Tuesday morning. I don't even know what brand they are. Um, and then I also have some Ranger ones, but I think for this particular project, I used the Tuesday morning ones and I can't remember which colors they were, but I just kind of played around with it until I got a color that I liked. All right, so that finishes that up super fast. I, Tracy does amazing, an amazing job of creating kits um, that you don't have to do much with um, to create something really cool. So those will go in the journal. And then the final, final piece I have here. Um, all right, so what I have are these, and I got these on Instagram from um, a vintage um, seller, and I don't even know what they are. However, um, they're pretty cool, and to me, they kind of just work with this journal. So, what I did is I used some of the stamps from In Love Arts that I um, got, and I stamped some flowers on this one, and then a butterfly on this one, and this one, I'm just gonna do a dragonfly, and I'm using T. Rose Archival, so I just have a dragonfly here, and I'm just gonna ink this up, yeah, I can't remember what these these little taggy things were. Um, I can't remember what they were actually used for, but um, I think they'll look cute in my nature journal. So we're gonna try that. Let me see, make sure I don't have a bunch of ink here. And then we will just stamp him down. There we go very cute. There's my little dragonfly. And then that just slides back in here like that. I don't know. I think they're cute. I love adding metal and I love the strings on these. Like they're just, I don't know, they're fun. So that's it guys. I think I am done with all of the ephemera for this journal. And I can't wait to show you um, the finished product. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Um, and, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the flip through of this journal. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy and stay safe and take care, guys. Bye.